What is up, folks, and welcome back to another episode of The Distant Lands. Happy to be presenting you guys with another episode today on this fine, fine Monday. Gonna be keeping it pretty relaxed today because we are, I do have a project. I have a project in mind. It's kind of a quickie project. It's nothing too extreme, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to do on camera because you guys, you know, love watching me do redstone. But first, before, before I get into it, I want to show you guys something I did off camera in between now and last episode. You're going to see it here in a few, in, in a minute, I believe. Let's, let's, let's see it do the thing. Thing. let's see it come on come on son i need you to go down go down son ah look at it do the thing look at it look at watch it over there pop look at that beautiful it's all automated now the lights turn on dependent on if it's getting uh if it's getting dark out and it's perfect because it goes it turns on pretty much right when the sun starts setting but since we have a project we got to work on we're going to walk in here and we're going to go sleep. So today we're going to be pretty much making just a an automatic beehive farm. And we're going to have just fun doing it. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting. I, I have already have a place to put it. And I'm not going to make it as big as... What's up, Rupert and Cooper? If you come over here, it's not going to be some massive contraption. It's just pretty much going to be right here. Um, I've never built one of these before. I've always, always told myself I'm, I'm going to build one. And then I never do. Uh, let me check actually here real quickly. I think I have B nest. Yeah. Um, I don't know which of these. I'm just going to grab two in the middle here and hope that they are full of bees, I suppose. Because I know like different tags like have different amounts of bees and, and so on. So I actually feel a... Feels... Shoo! I promise I'm not allergic to bees. My excuse her, excusey me. Um, Lula. Okay. <laughs> but uh, let me grab some some stuff here. Where do I have grass in one of these? No, I gotta grab. I gotta grab some grassy, some grassers. Uh, where are you at? Right here. Let's grab a stack of that. We only need like four, but we'll grab a stack of that. All right. So first things first here. Let's start framing this out. I guess we'll just do it like this just go on this other side here and then i want to make it look somewhat nice okay so how i i think this goes normally is you have to put you got to put grass like right here and then grass and you're probably wondering like the reason i actually want a a honeycomb farm is uh well, basically, I want to use it for the honey... Uh, what is it called? The beehive blocks. So, beehives are great floor material. Uh, I don't think I have anything... Any of it on me. Do I Do I have any a beehive block on me? I don't think I do. But it's the thought that counts. So, uh, yeah. And then what we're going to do now... Frame that off. I should probably leave this somewhat open in here uh, I don't know when you're supposed to place the hives because I know they're gonna go like right here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this all funnel below to right here there's gonna be a, a chest right here do I have a chest on me no you grab a benchy make a chesty bada bing okay okay Deep breaths, deep breaths. Redstone is a thing. It's a beautiful thing. My goodness. Okay. So I know we'll need flowers. Yonder. Okay. And then above this, we'll do. Can we just do? We, can we just do it right here? Some redstone lanterns, and then I'll pop up a redstone block above those. Gotta keep it looking semi fancy here. So we'll do that. Frame that out like so. And then, yeah, I'd say that, that'll look all right. That'll look all right. Okay, I'm gonna build like a little bit of an access point back here. Let me let me dig all this out. Oh boy, this is gonna... I have a feeling this is not going to work when I'm done with it. I, I have a strong sense of failure 
coming coming to mind right now. Do I even have enough hoppers? I hope I do. Hoppers are expensive. I actually think I do. I literally have like a perfect amount of hoppers. I think I do. Wow. Oh my goodness. And then above this, I th I think the the beehives. Do I do I just do I just do the thing? So I a beehive there. A beehive there. Oh, and then they're they're buzzing. They're buzzing. So I probably need to block them off, right? Okay. But no, I need to have let me do let me do this and then are they popping out? Are they are they doing a thing? Oh, I don't have glass. I don't have glass. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, there's definitely one of you, which is something. Better than nothing, I suppose. Um I heard another pop. I heard another pop. Ah, there's two of you. Okay, there is definitely bees confirmed. There is confirmed bees. Okay, we need to have the com the observers not that way. Um, facing this way, I think. And then, um, and then I just. Uh, I know I need a little bit more redstone here. And then do I just do I do I power this? I know I need to have the No, I think I think I did it right. I think I did it something. I did something right here. Let me It's it's not doing the thing though. Is it supposed to be doing a thing already? I'm not really too sure. Oh lordy. Okay. Um uh Well, there's bees. They they're doing something. Uh, but do I do, do I need to do anything here? Hold on, let me check. Let me do a checky here. Okay, so those hoppers are definitely correct. The beehives seem to be full or something, I think. So if I do just this again and I'd make it do the work, is it going to Oh, no, not that. Oh boy, it's gone. Okay. Uh uh, I'm not too sure. Hold on. I am an incredible engineer at its finest. I am an unstoppable being. We need to create, we, we need, th there's, there's a step we are missing. There, there is a fine, a fine step we are missing here. We actually need these, uh, uh, oh boy. Okay. We need, we need this facing down. Oh, oh, I fell into a hole. Okay. Uh, and then we need... We need you facing down. Don't don't eat me bees, please. All right, and then we we fill this with shears, and then it, it does it does a thing, right? I am a genius. I I am absolutely phenomenal. I did this all by myself. I I did. I did it all by myself. Oh my goodness. All right, well now I guess it's just time to pretty it up a little bit. I'm just, I'm kind of gonna go off DJ's design just a little bit here. I'm gonna do that. I think, I think we're good. I think we're solid. I mean, the only thing I can think that might or may, may or may not be useful, and I'm not even sure if this works or not, is possibly putting like unbreaking on the shears. I don't know if that actually helps at all because I'm assuming those shears get used. Yeah, they, they they have a durability. So maybe that's just something I have to refill every once in a blue moon or or something like that. But I mean where it stands, it appears to work, which is better than nothing. Okay. Well I I think we did it. I think we've we've solved all problems. Everything is is greatness now. Uh, I don't think there's anything we need to do. I I'm not too sure if there's like a way to make this more efficient or like see that like the bees come out they they do the thing. That's actually two bees right there. Look at that. Look how great they look. Look how sweet they are. They're, they're I love bees. Bees are great. But this is this I think completes us. We did it. We did a redstone project today. This is this is beautiful, but um, 
yeah, I think that's I think that's gonna be it for us today, honestly. Um, I am probably gonna build a couple more farms off camera. I do have a plan to put uh, probably a sugarcane farm here because I I do use sugarcane to make paper to make rockets. So that's actually a big farm I really could use. And then I'm gonna have on this side some kind of automatic sheep farm. I think I might actually just line this whole wall as a sheep farm. Uh, and then do like different color wool depending on like what I need. That or have, have part sheep farm, part uh, what's it called? Do like a melon farm or something. But we'll keep it relatively simple back here. This will be kind of a cool little cool area though. When we do end up moving out of here and move into a larger house, I will make like massive. I'll probably make like much larger, more efficient farms. But for now, these little pocket farms here, these will do just fine. So uh, yeah. I'm probably going to do more building next episode. As I have uh, I showed you guys in the beginning, I did work on the mining area a little bit. We will probably we'll either work on that next episode or we'll work on something something else. Uh, I'll kind of think it up. I'll see what we can do. But I think that'll call it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all of those wonderful things. And I will see you guys in the next one.